G'day everyone, Elliot here from Access Alarms, your security, access control, intercom and camera system specialist. So today I'm just coming at you quickly to show you the Protege WX system by ICT. We install tons of these, we love this product and this is a quick video as to show you why. So on my desk here, I've set up a Protege WX controller you can see here. I've got an electronic lock connected to it a swipe card reader and a push button to open the door. I've also got a blue, sh uh, blue light connected to show you when the alarm system goes off and an emotion detector. So Protege WX is a full integrated access control and security platform. So at the moment, you can see the door is locked. I've just set it up too. I can swipe a tag on the reader and you can hear the door unlocks. You can see it's released here and that should lock then again after five seconds. Do that again, swipe there, door's unlocked. You can see the little red light here comes on on the controller and then that should lock back up. Same thing now, if I push the push to exit button, the little red light comes on here saying the lock is unlocked and that's that. Now, let me show you what needs to happen for that to happen. So on my screen here, you can see the login screen for the controller. Now, if I type in, I've just set it up as default, admin, admin, and I sign in. Okay, so what you can do with uh, this, no, as I said, this is straight out of the box. Well, I've done a little bit of programming. In here, I've got doors. You can see here, monitoring doors. If I go on this front this door, I've just labeled it entry door. I can control it, I can unlock it here. You can hear it go click. And then you can also go unlock latch, which will hold the door open for that period of time. Okay, so the next thing is I've set up an area in the system. So this is, you can see here, alarm system. From here, I can arm the alarm system. Okay. You can see the card reader has gone red on here, which indicates that the alarm system has been armed. And if I trigger the motion detector, the blue light starts flashing, which tells me that the alarm system has activated. So I'm just gonna turn that back off again, okay. And um, so you've seen there the individual control between the door, you can see the reader's gone green again once I turn the area off. So everything there is working quite well. Um, what are the benefits, one of the main benefits of using this, apart from the fact that now I'm just gonna quickly show you you may have seen the video as well on how to set up the app or the Protege mobile app, but this is how it works in a nutshell. This system is amazing. You can see on here, see the um, see how quick the app is changing. That is now telling me that the door is closed. I had a click here. At the moment, the door's locked. You can see my finger can't push that. If I hit the button, unlocked. Okay Green saying that it's unlocked and then it's locked. The other thing you can do, push and hold. Okay, unlocked, cool. From here, I can also turn the alarm system on from the app, just a touch here. Okay, you can hear that beeping. The reader's now gone red to say that that's on. Okay, and that's, that's now on. I might just trigger the alarm and you can see the blue light. Now it's telling me the alarm system's gone off. The alarm off, okay. And you can see I can also here just turn on the blue flashing light if I want to, turn it off. Okay, so you can see the app is almost instant. It's, it's very good for that sort of stuff. Uh, you can on the app also go through and check what's happened on the system. You can add and remove home screens. If you wanna know more about the setup, watch the setup video. But that's the that's how quick the system is to work. And as you can see on my phone is on the 4G here, it's not on um, the Wi-Fi. So this is running through the internet and back to here and it's that quick, like click, done, okay? Now I wanted to show you um, the what you can actually do or what makes the system quite powerful is, you might have a front door that you want to have open and closed between 8.30 and five every day. So I can program up a schedule here, which I've set one up on the screen here. You can see I've set one up that says work hours and I've just set that to 8.30 and 5.30. This is pretty easy. If I just go into the door, I can now say, I wanna unlock this schedule during work hours. So now once I save that, click. You can hear the door now is unlocked and it'll um, the door will stay unlocked now and it'll be between 8.30 and five. One of the downsides to having schedule unlock or one of the downsides to having an older control system that doesn't have this facility is that what happens on a public holiday? 
One of the downsides to the older systems is at the start of the year you had to sit there and program every public holiday and that didn't account for things like what we just had which is COVID-19 where we had a lot of days where offices were vacant. They had to pay for technicians to come out there and reprogram those, those days as holidays for them. But what the benefit of this system does is that it has an option and I'll show you on the screen here that allows you for, you can see the area is disarmed and the schedule is valid, then unlock the door. What that means is if the alarm system's turned on, I don't want the door to unlock. Well, that's perfect because on a public holiday, no one's gonna be in the building. I don't want it to unlock unless someone's in the building. So that works perfectly. So let me show you how that works. Currently, you can see the door's unlocked. If I now arm the alarm system, so I can do this with my swipe tag, um, one, two, oh, hang on, let's try that again. The motion detector picked me up, so I said no. Okay, that's armed up. And you can see now, the door's now locked. That's it, okay. First person to come in, swipes their card. Okay, alarm system turned off, door unlocked, because it went back to the normal schedule operation. So, very, very powerful tool. The other thing that you may have noticed too is I'm turning the alarm system on and off either through the app with my swipe tag that I've got here, so my standard swipe tag, or, I'm, or I can do it through, um, I can do it through the uh, computer interface as well. So there's no need for a keypad. I don't have to remember codes. If I lose a tag or someone loses a tag, I can log in from anywhere in the world and remove it or just deprogram it. So I have no concern. This is a cloud platform, as you can see on my screen. This is a web page. It's not anything over the top. So this is this is a bunch of stuff that we've done quickly for customers. Running through the products we got here, electronic lock. This could be a magnetic lock, an electronic strike. This could be any of the electronic locking solutions that we have. Protege actually does integrate with wireless locking solutions as well, like uh, Salto, a few others, Perio or As Abloy. There's a whole bunch of different solutions that we've got that this system will integrate with. Card readers, it'll talk to almost any card readers available on the market, 485 readers, weekend readers, HID. Uh, I think we've just introduced another company called Proxy, which is great. We've just been introduced to another company that does a lot of Bluetooth integration systems. The Protege WX is about flexibility. Okay, there's one level up, which is called the GX. Um, I'll do another video on the GX. If I've done it, the link will appear around me. The GX is more about if you have more than one building, you, you exceed the level of the WX. Trust me, that's pretty hard to do. The other thing that's really cool, I'm doing security, access control for two doors. I can do two doors, three or four motion sensors or alarm sensors, a siren and strobe with the one controller. To do this with some of the other competitors, I need to buy four or five different modules. This is around the $800 mark for the controller. Bang for buck, it does everything out of the box. So if you need to add more controllers, you just add additional modules. Like here is, here's a, an, an expansion card. It looks exactly the same, but you notice that it doesn't have the ethernet port on this one, it just has more um, more control outputs. This is just an expansion card for this one. So as soon as you bolt this module on, it'll give you another two doors, another eight inputs, eight outputs. So you can do another eight motion sensors. You can trigger another eight sirens or external. You can do lighting control on this. So you saw how I turned the siren on and off with my app before. I can make it so that when the alarm system turns on, it automatically turns on the for you, um, which is what we have here in the office actually. In our Access Alarms office. I'll put a link to the to the video of how we use the same system here in our office. So this is just an, a fantastic product. If you're a small, medium business and you've got the ability to put this into your budget, the other thing that, that does sort of smash a lot of the competitors or why this system is so much better, it still has the modem port down the bottom here. Okay, which means it can still connect to a phone line. So it can still report through your um, an old phone line if you're still communicating through the phone line. If you're on MBN, this can connect to a GPRS module, which is 
one like here. I'll do another video explaining how these things work, but it can connect to the GPRS module and go back to base monitoring like any other standard alarm panel can. A lot of the competitors of this size don't have the ability anymore to, or they offer additional modems that you need to buy to make that happen or you have to use their proprietary type. This system is, it's probably one of the most open platform systems that we've come across in saying that is ICT are very open to, they'll talk to many different products, they'll try and make it so that it can communicate with as many different options as possible because they're looking out for you guys as the customer and that's what we're about as well. That's why ICT and Access Alarms have worked together for so many years now. We've been distributors for ICT or IDNs for, uh, I don't even know, it's over five years. So amazing product. If you have any questions or you want to look at getting this sort of stuff, give us a call. The number's behind me, 1300 049 or flick us an email here, info at accessalarms.com.au. Cheers.